Jillian Harrow, Fencing Harpist here at the November NAC. Jillian, you have a really exciting kind of project you're working on in parallel to your fencing here in, in KC. Tell us about it. Um, I'm just doing a photo shoot with other fencers who uh, want to come along and it's mostly to showcase some of the other skills that we as fencers have. Um, some, I see some fencers that I've become friends with from other clubs and they're really beautiful and I just want to take pictures of them and showcase their other skills. Like I have um, some fencing friends from all over the country who are amazing singers or have um, extreme acting skills and things like that that I just want to be able to showcase. And um, it's, I feel like it's a good thing to make friends in other clubs, even if you're going to go on the strip the next day and um, come face to face with them as opponents, you still have to learn how to become friends afterwards and um, just put all that aside, but still be competitive on the strip. Now, your, your medium is, is typically photography, yes. correct? So you talk about highlighting a lot of the talents that many, many fencers have. And I think of like Lena Johnson, yeah, uh, say, fellow amazing. Sabre fencer. Yeah. Of course, like now into kind of like hip hop dance or break mm -hmm. dancing. Um, how, how do you capture those skills like acting or singing through your photography? I enjoy um, just taking pictures of how the human body can exhibit different um, emotions. Like uh, what Louis Greenfield has done here um, with how she shows the human body in fencing or just um, the emotions of certain activities that you have like acting or singing, just the facial expressions and how you express yourself and be able to show that visually through a medium like photography. Okay, so do you have specific uh, Kansas City sites planned out or who are, who are some of your, uh, your subjects, if you will? Um, some t fellow teammates like um, Caitlin Becker or um, Tori Johnson, uh, her sister, and just taking pictures of other fencers who uh, around the city, uh, especially I love the colors of the buildings all around and I didn't expect Kansas City to be this beautiful and all the architecture. Also, it's a theater outside and just uh, the carvings there and the fountains because I didn't know this was called the City of Fountains, but it's an amazing blue and it's yeah, it's especially at nighttime with all the lights, it, it's a very good photography spot. Now how about being from Arizona, uh, more of a desert, you talk about the, the surprise that you discover with Kansas City, the fountains, the architecture. Uh, what, what would people discover in your hometown? In Phoenix, um, I'm from Chandler, which is right outside of Phoenix. It's, um, most people would think of a desert, but it's very suburban and um, especially in Phoenix, it's a lot like here with the cities and the architecture and the buildings, but uh, most of the, the plants there, um, the Desert Botanical Gardens, it really features um, the cacti and all of the plants that we have unique to our area. And I love to take pictures of that and showcase that and um, the desert scenery and backgrounds, but it's not all desert. And I think sometimes I have to show that it's not all desert and take pictures of um, just how Arizona has become urban and um, what used to be cornfields have now become houses and neighborhoods and it's just trying to show people where I come from and what it looks like now. Okay, so much like your focus here in Kansas City, it's really mm -hmm. just trying to highlight your surroundings and your environment yeah. and the things that you appreciate most. And photography is great in the fact that you can take your or everyday life, just going to school or something like that, or just your own home and take pictures of things and see them from new perspectives that you've never seen before. And using your camera kind of as your eyes, but it kind of, you get to look at what you see every day in new light. And that's my favorite part about it because I don't enjoy the monotonous life just kind of going to school and coming home, going to bed, waking up and repeating it every single day. I think photography, fencing and playing the harp gives me a way to do something that no one else really does. Even though I have discovered other people who play the harp and fence and I find that very interesting and I never knew I could find other people who are as unique, but um, I want to try to take my everyday life and showcase it and see different perspectives through it and not get bored with what I do every day. All right, well, we look forward to, to seeing the result of, of your shoot today. Uh, very exciting and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Jillian.